probably the longest volunteer here on this stint of this project. That's correct. Been yeah. here for over a month. Yeah, roughly a month, yeah. Uh, working quite a lot in here and quite a lot outside here. I'm going to test my equipment, see if we can do a little walk and talk. Yeah, we're doing um, the, this upholstery here. Tell me a little bit about, like, we can sort of see a bit of everything here, like the yeah. exposed bit and kind of how it was made in this door. Yeah, we can see here that it's made with those bags initially. And then after we are applying a first layer of plaster, and this is with clay, water, and sand. Yeah. And later on, I'm going to apply a second layer. We start applying already on the other side, a second layer with uh, with clay, lime, and sand. Yeah. Let's go and have a look around the other side because yeah. we can sort of see the progression from the bags which you can see on yeah. various other videos to the first layer of plastering to here. this layer that is in here kind of mud and waffle here more close to the final to this beautiful stage. plastered finish which yeah. just sort of gets polished yeah it's getting super soft yeah we're applying water every day for a month so that what does that get, do it can it get harder it can harden so every 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 day when the sun when it dries the it's getting kind of a bit of a stronger layer. So after after a month, we should have like quite strong layer here, and you can apply then an oil to yeah. offset it, to make it waterproof. And so you came from kind of a, a bit of a different life to, to do this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What, what was it that appealed to you about it then? Well, I originally I study uh, computer science. Yeah. Um, like, so I was working as a software engineer but I was a bit tired of the, um, the uh, digital world. So I, I miss using my hands. And this is why I got interested in this echo slash natural uh, building. And I came here to learn about this specific uh, technique called Super Adobe. And this is amazing that you can just like build with things that are already in place and have the minimum, say, import of things. So it's like, it's simple, it just makes sense to me. Just build with things that are literally under your feet. And have you done anything like this before? I have done some workshops like on earth Earthship. There is a, a technique that we use it here as well to build with this, uh, with the tires. You can see those earth yeah. walls there. And but it was like a small thing, like a, a week, uh, a weekend long. Right. And, uh, right now, it's like my first like off grid real experience, and it's amazing. I really like it. So what what is it that you like about it then? Because you've been doing yoga up on that hill at half past six in the morning and <laughs> yeah we cooking food and all sorts of things as well haven't you yeah i kind of like this i think it comes a bit with the the work i was doing is the problem problem solving and but here is applied with a more let's say physical aspect of it so we can really can like in the end of the day instead of being something on a digital world we have like a house Place where the place where the people can live and protection from the elements. Yep. And for me, it makes like so much like sense that like those things are like they're not rocket science. It's... What would you say you're most proud of in the work that you've done in in this building? Then proud. I think. Hmm. I think just the mindset that one can can gain of just go for it and learn on the way and see that sometimes walls are not perfectly flat, not perfectly like the way that we are used to see them in, in a society, but they are good enough and they give every bit more life in my, in my opinion. Yeah. They have like more like the same thing that a tree grows in, in the nature. Sometimes it's straight, sometimes a bit curved because of the winds. And here I think we could say this is because of our experience, right? Sometimes things get straight, sometimes it gets a bit curved, but in the end it, it works as Almost everything always works. Yeah. And what do you think you might take? Because like you're going tomorrow morning yeah, yeah. after um, over a month. Exactly. And then probably after a week, it'll feel a bit like a dream. What do you think it's you'll possible. take back into your life? I think every single time that I'm in this kind of these projects and communities, I always take like that is doable. That one is like, it's possible. It is, sometimes it's easy that you are seeing those things so far away. It's like it's more sort of utopical kind of lifestyle 
Yeah. But here you can see that it's like, it's not easy, but it's doable. It's a lot of work. But yeah, I think in the end of the day, you have like a place that you can like possibly leave and you know how it was built and you know how to fix it. And for me, it's kind of sort of a really like empowering feeling that like, yeah, it's possible. Does it make you feel like doing something yourself like this? Yeah, 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 totally. I'm not sure exactly with, with this uh, technique, but it's also something that I really love here that multiple interests that I have and like multiple things that I've read about or even at like some small workshops, they all kind of are here in one way or the other. Like the earth chip, you have the, the, the food forest with the permaculture principles, like the dry a, a toilet. And like all of these things that like here I could see them like really being used in a single place. And that for me was like, it was really beautiful. It is really beautiful, the kind of these little small things. And then they, in the end, we have like a place that people can come, can build community. Yeah, let's take a little walk around to the sunny <laughs> end of the building to Eister's wonderful tree. Yeah, this is the... Uh, sure. We have a beautiful tree here that our artist created and that for me is like totally out of my skill set like make it beautiful it's like i'm not i'm not used to it it's like make things functional it's more my yeah you've been working on a guttering today haven't yeah, you? yeah 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 today we installed half of the guttering system that they're going to use to harvest water keep the water yeah during which... the winter so then during the summer we can have like water and you can see it here that half is so that's there. the game round here isn't it is when yeah. you've got water you have to find a way of keeping it, it yeah. for later for times when you haven't got it exactly it's like thinking ahead always yeah it was here today's work bending a gutter pipe yeah there was a bit of a, of a learning a curve there but at the end we're getting like better at it and like it's like a practice, practice, practice. Um, and finally, like yeah. I'd say, out of all of the people here, you're probably the most regular visitor to the river like yes, down there. Yes. Yes. Have you got anything you want to say about the river? Ah, I do have it. First, it's amazing. Uh, like, because I've been here for a month, and I think only three days I didn't go to the river because it was a rainy day, rainy, like really rain, rainy. But still, after all those days, when I'm first, when I'm thinking about going to the river, my, my, my mind says, you're going to be cold, it's going to be too, too hard. So there is always this little barrier. But you, even if I'm aware that when I'm cross it, the barrier is gone. It's always there. And I think I can relate these towards other challenges in life. That even if I've done so many times, there is always this kind of doubting about myself and... Mm -hmm. Yeah, but sometimes you just have to kind of just go for it. Yeah, and you get used to hearing your self-limiting beliefs yeah. and then just doing it anyway. Even, even when your, you've done it before. This has been your tent down at the bottom that we can see yeah, exactly. pretty close to the river. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are saying night, it's quite loud. At night you can have a pleasant sound of water, let's say <laughs> it. And from the other side, we have the chicken coop that sometimes also likes to wake us up in the morning. And yeah asking to go out actually you'll be missing all those sounds soon then exactly yeah I'm, I'm curious to see how it's going to be this being back into the city how i'm going to feel and what perspective i'll gain from distance from here